if you're training retrievers, you gotta have things for the dogs to retrieve. Training dummies, I do think it's a really important tool. I've got a habit probably of looking at stuff and, and trying to figure out what works best and why. There's usually room to improve on stuff. What you have seen with us is these fire hose material dummies. We were working with a company called Real Duck. So we worked together and we put our logo on his dummies and I liked them, but it wasn't our business. You know, we were customers of his. We sold them for quite a while. And then I started thinking about it and I went, I want to change these. Like this isn't exactly how I want it. I'm picky. Sewing and to be manufacturing things like this was out of our wheelhouse. We as a small business tend to gravitate towards other small businesses. Stormy Kromer is a very iconic brand of hats and clothing in the Midwest, in particular the UP. I get pictures in black and white of my great grandpa. He's out in front of his tavern, he's got this car with a big front fender and there's a buck laying over the front of it, taken in the 30s, and he's wearing a black hat. It's a Stormy Kromer cap. Their roots are like my family's roots. Everybody knew him by that hat, black Stormy Kromer. So Stormy Kromer started in Kakana, Wisconsin, which is not far from me, and then it moved to Milwaukee. And there was a point where it was losing momentum and, and potentially going to close its doors. There was a guy up in the UP, and his name is Bob Jackcourt. Bob's quite a, a businessman, pretty savvy guy, and he purchased the company. Moved it up to Ironwood, Michigan, which was a perfect fit for him because he also owned a company called Jackcourt Fabrics. Uh, Jackcourt Fabrics is a sewing operation that they make all sorts of stuff. So he brought it up there and kept this iconic brand alive. And I've gotten to know them pretty well. So we got to know each other through some dog stuff. I explained to Bob what I was looking to try to do, building these dummies. And he said, I know exactly what you want to do. He said, I know exactly how to do it. I said, well, I don't. And he said, I want you to come up here. It's easier for me to just show you. I brought our team up from our shop and we went up there and he literally walked us through how do you assemble this thing? How do you build it? Because not it's one thing to pick the right fabric. It's another thing to be able to build it and build it cost effectively and make it economical and efficient. And after meeting with Bob, we came back and we said, okay, let's get the right stuff. Let's buy the right equipment. Let's start making it. Let's tweak this. Let's change this. And we've, we've done that. We're, we're building our fire hose dummies more effectively and with small tweaks as far as the weight, the feel, the sizes, the colors available. Like, I just think we've become real logical in it. It's for the trainer. Simple has always been good for me when it comes to training dogs. So this fire hose dummy to me is about as simple as it gets. It's about as durable as it gets. We're gonna guarantee them for life. Because I think that there is something to be said about building things right.